so jealous because I'm sure it's not as freezing cold there, Sam, as it is here in your own home country. Um, let's talk about La Liga. Let's talk about Barcelona uh, specifically. Julian Araujo, uh, Galaxy to Barca. It seems like Barca wanted to double up on Araujo. I remember when I saw this and I was absolutely panicking because I thought it meant Ronald Araujo to LA Galaxy. And I was like, no, what's going on here? But what's the latest for this one? Yeah, that would have been quite a turn up for the books, wouldn't it? Ronald Araujo swapping, swapping Barcelona for, for LA Galaxy, following Ricky Pudge perhaps in, in the January transfer window. But no, like you say, it's um, the, the Galaxy right back, Julian Julian Araujo, who's going to be joining Barcelona. We're still waiting for the official announcement. Barcelona have got a Telegram channel where they've just released it and then deleted it. So it's still not quite ready to, to be made official. We're waiting to find the, the structure of the deal has, has changed throughout the day, but we're expecting that to be confirmed well within the next 10 minutes with the with the deadline approaching. Um, that it will be in the end a permanent deal, but structured in a weird way because Barca can't do deals in a normal way where they pay two million for a percentage of his rights, perhaps, and then another another two million at another stage for 40%. And it's it's cancelable as well at a certain time. So it's not a straightforward deal. But I think this just protects um, the Galaxy a little bit in a, in a little way because obviously if Barca did this deal where it was a loan with an option to buy, perhaps they would risk sort of losing money and having having an Alho back at some point without having made any money from this deal. Um, it's a signing primarily for for well, for the B team and the, the first team at Barcelona. He'd be registered with the with the reserve team. That's who's making the announcement through their through their telegram channel, who play in the third division in Spain. But it's gonna be very much around the the first team because Barca have no natural right back now. Hector Bayerine has joined Sporting Club in Portugal today. So they have, you know, they've been playing with Sergio Roberto, who's obviously played a lot of right back in recent years, but he's a midfielder. They've been playing with Jules Kunde there. They've been playing with the other Araujo there, Ronald Alejandro Balde's played there, but none of them are natural right backs. So there is a spot for a right back in this in this Barca side if they can take it. I still expect Javi to stick with the other options, but he's going to be taking a look at Araujo, who's going to be in the, in and around the first team dynamic, but perhaps those first sort of few weeks he get some games with the B team when he gets a well, luckily, Barcelona didn't have to look too far for a special man that they do have uh, more in an attacking role, and that's Gavi. Uh, let's talk about him because he has been kind of a little bit in the in the headlines. He officially got registered. There was some drama as to whether Barca were going to be able to register him. Sam, just give us a bit more on that. Yeah, that's been the big talking point or the big battle of of deadline day or this or this January in 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 Barcelona, really, because they've been you know with their financial problems, they've not been able to add to their squad, and they've not even until today being able to, to register a contract which was agreed with Gabby last September. Um, they tried to register it last month. He's still, or he's now registered with the first team, but until today he was registered as a youth team player. Um, they, La Liga rejected his registration last week. Javier Tebas explained in the, the league president that it was because it's a multi-year contract and Barcelona don't have the, the salary space beyond this season um, to, to commit to that contract. Um, Barca have taken that to a commercial court here in here in Catalonia, and they 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 received a favourable ruling today, which has um, obliged La Liga to register Gavi. He's taken the number six shirt, once of course worn by by, Ine, by um, Iniesta and Javi with Pedri and him now wearing six and eight to strike up that sort of new merging generation midfield uh, combination, if you will. And um, yeah, La Liga say they're going to review the case and appeal it. So there's still the chance that he could be deregistered. Um, so this is this is something that's not going to going to end today, even though he is now officially for the time being uh, a first team Barcelona player and yeah their, their biggest signing today because the interesting point in the Barca statement was this idea that if he wasn't registered by 11 59 59 today before the window closed there would have been the possibility that he could have left for for free which is something that Javi said today he didn't expect to happen obviously Gavi's come through the academy he's you know he's committed to the club but it's something the club were obviously worried about to take this to a commercial court and make sure it got through today all right. Thank you so much as always, Sam. Hopefully we come out there to visit you in Barca soon. I'm off to Madrid tomorrow, but Barcelona, man, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Give it a couple of months. It's still a bit cold. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.